benefits the tech and you as the owner. It's a win-win situation. And the customer. And, and, and the, it benefits the customer, benefits the business, all right? It's just easy to manage, all those kinds of things. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 429th episode of Potty Talk. And hey, I'm looking forward to this episode here, mm -hmm. as always. Uh, kind of a controversial mm. um, a topic here, topic, yes. all right? In fact, yeah. the, the title of this episode... And I think people fall heavily one side or the other. Right, right? and mm -hmm. argue one side or the other or find excuses mm -hmm. <laughs> for one side or the other, <laughs> or just what we've always done, one side or the other. Okay, right. but I'm, I'm going to talk the benefits here. Okay. Well, the title says it here, piece okay. by piece, Okay, unpacking plumber piece rate pay. Okay. In fact, say that Go ahead. three times fast. Mm -hmm. Unpacking plumber piece rate pay. Unpacking plumber piece rate pay. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. All right. And of course, mm -hmm. you know, it's not even plumber technician. It could be HVAC tech, you know, electrical tech. Whatever. Okay. Yep. All right. But we're going to talk piece rate pay. Okay. Now, what is piece rate pay? Before I get in the, you know, what is piece rate pay? Sure. I don't know. Uh, I didn't know if you were going to talk about, um, before we get into it, um, let them know about the Success Academy. We teach these types of things in the Success Academy. I like where you're going with that. Yeah. Because we go in great detail there. <laughs> okay. So, yes, we have the Success Academy. Hey, if you're just starting out with your home service business or, you know, you've, you've been, you've had your home service business for a couple of years now and you're surviving, okay, but not Barely. thriving. Right, all right. You don't have enough customers. Uh, you're not making enough money. You can't find techs. Uh, you're not sure how to market. What are all those kinds all of things. things? Well, quite frankly, um, you know, it's not necessarily your fault. You, you, you were trained or you were taught how to be a great craftsman. You were never taught how to, about business, okay? Well, that's what the Success Academy is all about, all right? Teaches the business of home service, all right? Mm -hmm. And so if you, hey, if you wanna check that out, again, mm -hmm. simply go to milliondollarpro.com forward slash success. Success. I got the address right there. You did. I should remember <laughs> success, because that's success. what it provides, mm -hmm. okay? We see um, our clients who join the Success Academy, literally, it, well, first of all, it pays for itself overwhelmingly the first month, but we see even Certainly. the first week, because we see the advancements really and the stuff we go, it. right, mm -hmm. we get into it, okay, and ultimately, if you see it through, we just had another one of our clients sell, um, you know, three and a half years ago, was broke, in a, him in a truck, mm -hmm. all right, marriage on the brink, all, the, all that kind of stress, three and a half years later, sold for multi-eight figures, Yes. okay, from what he learned in the Success Academy. It's true. All right, and you we're can We're actually going to have him on Potty Talk. Yeah. Yeah, coming up. So. Right, okay, yeah. tell his story. See, he's a regular, regular guy, all right? Yeah. And he'll be the first to tell you if he can do it, you can do it if you know the right things to do. Okay. Sure. Success Academy is all about that. So check it out. Okay. okay so, and one of the things is when yes, you talk oh, about pay, and this, yes. uh, you know, how do we pay our guys? Mm -hmm. Okay. Our techs and, and look, you know, um, you know, we're going to be talking about piece rate pay and, and we're going to be just right transparent. That is the way to pay. And I'm going to tell why mm -hmm. and how that benefits the tech and you as the owner. It's a win win situation and the customer and, and the you know, benefits the customer. Mm -hmm benefits the business, all right? It's just easy to manage, all those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, piece rate pay, um, first of all, has is, is, is been around, you know, for a while. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it comes from, from the auto industry out of the 50s, 1950s. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what, what are the other, the other ways to pay? You know, you got hourly, okay, and you got com, um, commission. commission, right? okay, which is a big, you know, hourly, um, you know, and both hourly and commission really promote inefficiency, and distrust, mm -hmm. okay, you know, and, you know, with hourly, it's just, you know, pay, pay for lollygagging and all that kind of thing. Hourly, if you're paying hourly, man, I, you have no control of your technicians you know. at all. You have no control it, for a job that can take what you think should be two hours. It'll take four hours. At least, and, and why that, not? That, that's why you're having those and, issues, right? And why not? Why, why, why what, what does it benefit them to move any faster, right? right? Now, you certainly don't want technicians running through jobs and doing crappy work. Of course not. I mean, that's a given, so leave the comments alone there. But, but you that's know, a given. But you know the situation. They, they you know, need a part, so they go to the supply house, and on the way to supply house, they stop off at the Speedway gas station mm -hmm. to pick up the bean, you know, the burrito and the mm -hmm. candy bar and the pop, mm -hmm. you know, the big gulp. Do, 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 and do, 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 then while they're at the supply house, they're, hey, Joe, they're talking, you know, shooting the whatever. Why wouldn't they? Why? Right. I mean, what, there's no benefit there's for no, them like, to be efficient. They get there's paid none. no matter what. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And on the distress side <clears throat> is to the customer is the customer, you know, is wondering how long, you know, 
mm -hmm. going to be gone. You know, I'm paying for this. Right. Okay. The, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and then the other side is we get a lot of people argue for commission, mm -hmm. you know, and a lot of techs will like commission because really what they're looking for is I, I want a piece of the action. Right. Like I get a piece of the action. Mm -hmm. Well, they really, it's the wrong kind of piece of action. They're really not in control. In fact, it creates distrust there from the owner, from the, uh, from the owner's side of things mm -hmm. because what happens is to control that you know we give commission but not on this so you get to deduct this and do this and that yes. and, dick and, dick and, dick and we nickel and dime and whatever and they really and the guys don't even know really how they're getting paid right okay. total gymnastics right and mm -hmm. so it's there's this trust there mm -hmm. um when ultimately they just want a piece of the action and a piece rate does just that mm -hmm. and it's straightforward okay it's, it's straightforward as you get you know it's a win-win situation yes and again it comes out of the 50s um out of the auto industry mm -hmm. okay and it, you know so it's been around for a long time, multi gazillion dollar industry automotive, all right? Mm -hmm. And you know, in the dealerships, the dealerships discovered, yeah, they make money off selling your cars, um, but the real money they make is in the service. Mm -hmm. Well, just they you only know, have so many bays. Well, how how can we? How can I make more time? I can't build on Pana one. You know, I can't stack them on, and I can't you know I can't go out wide or anymore. So how how do I get more time? Right. And so I. And so, and how do I create more efficiency? Mm -hmm. And so they found by piece rate, which is, get it, they'll pay you an hourly rate, you know, like, you know, the plumber work, you know, like maybe 30 bucks an hour. Right, that, okay. that's their assigned hourly rate. Hourly rate. That's their assigned hourly rate. It's not, right. they don't pay them hourly, but that's their assigned hourly rate. Right, so, so they get an hourly rate assigned, which makes it easy for the technician to understand. Mm -hmm. I get $30 an hour. And then you get a job, and then that job pays so much time. So like a water heater, like we paid four hours for a water heater. Mm -hmm. Now it doesn't take four hours. Shouldn't. I do a water heater, <laughs> but I get four hours to do a water heater. Mm -hmm. So it's four times. My assigned hourly rate. Assigned hourly rate, 30. Right. I get $120. What if it takes me two hours? Two hours, I get $120. Mm -hmm. Now here's the thing. Mm -hmm. They just gave themselves a raise and I'll get into that. Mm -hmm. See, that, that's why the plumber, that's, so I get a piece of that for being more efficient mm -hmm. and doing more work and having bigger jobs. I benefit, so there's the there's where the tech is saying, I want a piece for a piece of the action mm -hmm. for being good mm -hmm. and efficient and working hard and all right. that. So Providing they, a good service to our, my customer. Right, mm -hmm. and so I give myself a raise. So instead of making 30 bucks an hour, I just made 60 bucks an hour. Correct. All right, mm -hmm. that's the beauty of that. And the, the, the business, they already pay, I'm only paying $120 an hour. It's already built into the price. $120 for the job. I'm $120 for the job, mm -hmm. right? But- my technician was efficient. I don't mind giving them the, that raise, so to speak, because mm -hmm. I just created more two hours, two more hours to sell. That's where the dealerships had, my, where they figured that out. Mm -hmm. So my dad, my dad was a mechanic. I grew up blue collar. We had a lot of, we're on the same page. We come from blue collar families. My dad was a mechanic. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so during this time, he worked in the fifties and sixties. And so in, in the dealerships and he was a mechanic in the dealerships. So for example, he may have made, um, you know, at the time, you know, 20 bucks an hour, which is a lot. I mean, I'll just say that it's probably less than that, but, probably. Mm -hmm. but he was, he, he was like the known for like the, being one of the best tune-up men mm -hmm. because the tune-up job, the dealership paid for a tune-up uh, may, may pay an hour and a half, mm -hmm. but he would do it in 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. So he was whipping them out. Mm -hmm. And so he was really making 40 bucks an hour. So I can remember those days when we were, we were felt like we were living pretty, you know, wealthy. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Comparatively for, for that time, right. right, for that kind of work. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So he, we were at the top of the food chain for being a mechanic, mm -hmm. all right? The dealerships loved him because he was creating more time. Mm -hmm. He was working you know, more efficient and faster, mm -hmm. and so they were able to sell more time, mm -hmm. okay? Does that make sense? So that's make the sense beauty so. of piece rate, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's go over a couple of things, what, sure. what piece rate does okay. for, okay? Mm -hmm. All right? So yeah, we have an understanding? I on, on, kind fully of understand, piece rate? 100%. Okay. All right. All right. Give a thumbs up if you understand. Okay, well, reason number one, <laughs> all right, that piece rate, you know, is, is so good. First of all, it systemizes expectations. Okay. Okay, it systemizes expectations. So, for example, just using the, the tech example mm -hmm. uh, for the water heater, okay, this should take no longer than four hours, mm -hmm. okay, and we're charging four hours, all right, so it reduces the lollygag. So you ever have, you know, for those jobs, you know, is a water heater and we think, Ooh, you know, I got a water heater. Well, I'll we'll get this water heater done and we move on to the next job and we're going to make money today. Mm -hmm. But when, when I'm paying hourly, all of a sudden that water heater takes, you know, the majority of the day. Right. You have to go to the supply house twice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, and you, you know, I, I call it lollygag. Yes. 
Okay, they're just kind of taking their time. And why not? Again, like we said, mm -hmm. I get paid 30 bucks an hour. Whether I, it don't matter. Right. Now you can be on, you can be on them all you want. Mm -hmm. You can be, you know, mm -hmm. okay, we'll, we'll talk about that. That's one of the symptoms, you know, you know, mm -hmm. called babysitting. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. yes. But you, but you still, you know, this systemizes it. So, you know, they know how long it's supposed to take. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. Which then helps systemize your schedule. So you know you have this tech out. I'm going to be on this job for four hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. So as you're working with the schedule. You know right. to block it out for around four hours. Now right. you can also get a little creative once you know your technician's a little bit better. And exactly. you're like, man, Sam, I'm sending Sam out. And, and he's usually pretty quick. So I may not block out the whole four hours. Doesn't mean you're changing the task time assigned to that that job. That's not it. But you may on the, the grid, on the schedule, reduce the amount of time. She's like, yeah, Sam's, Sam will be pretty quick on it. So you can, you certainly can do that. Right. So I would maybe reduce it to three. He may be quicker than that. Mm -hmm. But you, yeah, that's just, that's good field management right there and knowing right. your team. But the, uh, but we have, we're on the same expectations. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just, just man, just being on your guys like, okay, so, you know, Sam, get in there. I, you got to get this done. We got other jobs. All right. That doesn't push it. Guys don't care. Okay, they, they still, do, especially if they're paid hourly. What do right. they care? They, they don't. They don't care. That does. That doesn't do anything. Right. They don't benefit from that mm -hmm. um, at at all. So you can push all you want. Okay, this is forty years of dealing mm -hmm. with this. Well, just think logically. Well, I right. Mean, think logically. Right. That again, what what's the benefit for them to be more efficient if they're paid hourly? There is zero, zero. benefit. Zero benefit. What's right. the, what's the benefit for them making sure their their trucks are stock? Are we going to talk about that? Well, exactly. That another, well, that, another that's point? why. Well, that's why it reduces <laughs> the lollygag. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, with I want to talk about so Bec making sure your trucks are stocked. Right. So, um, you train your techs and you tell them, okay, make sure your trucks are stocked. Make sure you've got a water heater. You've got parts. You've got whatever is on there. An hourly employee, Does. there's there's no benefit. Why? What do they care if their trucks are stocked or not? They get out to a job. They see what needs to be done. They're like. Well, okay, I don't have that certain part. I got to go to the supply house because they don't care. If they're paid piece rate, they all of a sudden care. They care. We they saw care. it. see it firsthand, and we've seen it now hundreds of times now. Mm -hmm. Talk about those that go through the Success Academy and they, they implement this. Mm -hmm. We've seen it now hundreds of times where all of a sudden the techs care. They care. Because they benefit from that. Mm -hmm. If I make sure I have the parts on here, I, mm -hmm. I work efficiently I'm on here today. I'm not making 30 bucks an hour. I'm making 60 bucks an hour and all I, day long. And I can go to another job where I can right. do the exact same thing. And so right. basically, I mean, the, the, a good technician on piece rate has the goal of instead of making eight hours worth of pay for an eight hour day, they're making 16 hours. We saw it consistently mm -hmm. all the time. That's yep. how we have the techs, you know, it's easy to be in the mid six figures. Mm -hmm. The ones that they get this. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now on the flip side, we will say this because we say it's there. Some guys are okay. They make their 15, you know, whatever they need for the day, right? whatever they get. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's, and they'll want to shut down. And that's, as you know, making the phone ring and often is vital to your home service business. That's why I'm a fan of Search Kings. Search Kings is a Google premier partner and have helped my clients generate leads on Google local services and Google ads. If you need your phone to ring, use Search Kings and tell them Richard sent you and you need the million dollar pro VIP treatment. Go to milliondollarpro.com forward slash search kings and get on track to making your phone ring today. Well, and let me explain what you mean yeah, by that. Yeah. In that some guys are just comfortable. I, mean, I just need eight hours. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good. I don't right. need to make more. You know, they're not necessarily driven by, you know, big paychecks or right. whatever. So, yeah, you you will get some of those. It's like, okay, I bye. 30 bucks at eight hours. I make that. I'm mm -hmm. I'm happy with that. Right. Okay. And which I did work with those guys. And there's a whole, that's a whole nother process we mm -hmm. teach in the academy, right. whatever, of how you let those guys off. And that's fine. And you're fine as the owner because they sold those hours. Right. Okay. They didn't mm -hmm. lollygag eight hours and they made eight hours they're and they're happy efficient. with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. They sold that, that time. Correct. And so I'm very happy with that as the owner. So I'll give them the privilege for those guys that, that make their time by two o'clock mm -hmm. and they want to go fishing and go fishing. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a whole nother, but that's but, what that's, you're able to provide that kind of benefit mm -hmm. because you pay piece rate. Right. But okay. a good technician will see the opportunity that he can make more money. I work to five o'clock. Mm -hmm. I work and, yep. and my guys that made even back in the day that we're making mid six figures mm -hmm. work to five o'clock, mm -hmm. not, not to seven, eight o'clock at night to do no. that. Work to five o'clock, okay? But they, they were but they, efficient. But they were on and mm -hmm. their trucks were stopped and they're fishing, right. right. So they were doubling and even tripling mm -hmm. their pay. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, at least the point number two, mm -hmm. and it's simple to manage. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Piece rate is so, so simple <laughs> it's to manage. So easy. Um, you know, we talked about, again, a tech can understand it with the commission stuff. Mm-hmm. I know you say, you know, the guys want commission, all that. They just ask for commission because they think they get a piece of the pie. Mm-hmm. You may have liked commission if you worked at a shop. Again, there's a reason why you're the business owner. You get this stuff. Mm-hmm. But we're talking normal techs, okay? These guys don't get it. And they don't understand why you're, you know, you don't pay for gas or time over this. And you take this off and that kind of stuff. They don't, you know, they don't understand that. Right. Okay. That's not fair to them either. Right. The like gymnastics to have to go through. Right. On commission. You know, and so you still have, still have to manage the guys mm-hmm. on that, okay? Um, and you certainly got to manage when you guys are on time um, hourly. Yeah. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that just adds a whole new level of management to your to your schedule, the right. business owner. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's I call it babysitting. Mm-hmm. You are deaf, deaf, definitely mm-hmm. babysitting. Okay. <laughs> um, when you're you pay guys hourly yep. because because you got to be on them. You got to you know you, you got to be you know got to have the spurs to them mm-hmm. because there's no motivation. They have no there's no motivation to to work quicker, make sure their trucks are stocked. Mm-hmm. You know, to get to the, if they have to go to the supply house to get there quickly without making two stops on the way and, right. and mm-hmm. you know, jawing at the, you know, at the counter mm-hmm. and hanging out and all that. There's no motivation whatsoever. Well, I want to talk about commission versus um, piece rate um, from a, uh, how do I say this? Um, if, you, if they pay, if you pay commission, right? So let's say I'm just going to use round numbers. It makes it easier. Job, whatever job you're on is a thousand dollars, right? And, and the commission pay is. 30%, right? right so, which is ridiculous, right? Which, whatever. I'm just trying to use But that's numbers. what I want, right. Right. So the technician knows, okay, um, I'm going to, I've got this job and I'm trying to sell it for a thousand bucks and I get $30 an hour. I, I don't want to lower right. the, the price, right? I don't want to give any type of discount. I don't want to offer, you know, work with the customer on prices. You know, we, we talk about in the academy, we've talked multiple times about, you know, providing discounts and whatever uh, right. with pushback, all that. So what, what's the incentive to a guy that's There's on a commission to to go through your system as far as offering some sort of discount or, you know, going through the drop dead system, which we talk about, we won't go into now. There's no, there's no incentive. So he's going to walk away from the job. If, if he's not going to, if he's not going to make what he thinks he should make on it, he's going to walk away from the job as opposed to piece rate, piece rate. He knows I, if the if the company wants to give this away for, for free, free right. I'm going to get again. We'll use this example of the the water heater in the four hours. I'm going to get four hours. If if they give them a fifty percent discount, I'm going to get four hours. If they if the customer ends up paying full price, I'm going to get four hours. There's it doesn't matter to to the technician at this point what the cost of the job is. Where with commission, it totally matters. Right. And we there saw that. I'm glad, I'm glad you mentioned that because that's a big deal. We get into, you know, you know, just just that of how to, you know, discount properly. You know, how do you work that? Mm-hmm. You know, the, the service sales system. You you don't need special sales training. It's just right. a way of doing this and offering and that that kind of a thing. And and so we do get to the point where you talk about you mentioned the drop dead, where it's basically, you know, we're asking the customer how much do you, you know, what's, what's what, in your, what your budget today? You're taking care right. of today, and mm-hmm. then you're going back and. They're not making that decision. The, the office is making that decision, Correct. okay, the, at that point. Yes. But the office may come back and say, okay, yeah, we'll do the water heater for 100 bucks." Mm-hmm. Well, the commission guys, you know, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not doing it for 100 bucks. <laughs> nope. But piece rate guy is, right. okay. hey, I, I still get my four hours. I get my four hours. And I'm, I'm, making, I'm making the money. All right, let's mm-hmm. go. And I'll probably still get it done in two because right. I know I can and I want to open up more time right. slots I'm, in my day. Because you're thinking that way. Right. right. I'm just... Right. I'm making money for me and mine. Correct. That's what you guys are thinking about. That's why piece rate Always. allows that. It truly is the fairest way to pay your guys. Yes. The other way, you're ripping your guys off. Right. Okay. And again, commission is just, right. I mean, there's no incentive for them to work with the customer on prices. Right. So, all right. Okay. So, and it's easy payroll. Yes. As far as oh managing, it, it's so, mm-hmm. it, it's. Yeah. And you got to, you have to set it up right. I mean, right. you have to set it up correctly there. And there is some some time that goes into setting up your system in some field management software like field pool, something like that, going in and setting it up and assigning hours to every task and, and those types of things. Yeah. Yes, there is that. Um, but once you have that done, it's done, right? It's, right. it's done. So a water heater, you go in, you put a task in, um, you know, in your price list and you put the hours, four hours, you put the prices, the information's already there. Right. So it's in, you're, you're tallying up how many hours they sold. Bam. Yeah. Times what their hourly rate is. Mm-hmm. Bam. Yep. You're going to report at the end of the week. What, what jobs did they have? 
total up all the hours because you've got the hours assigned to the task. Right. And there's your payroll. It's done. There's a payroll. Mm -hmm. Not the commission stuff where you're having to figure out oh, all, all the stuff. Again, okay. gymnastics. Right. So. We, took, we took this off and whatever this, right? Because it's never a straight 30%. <laughs> no, it never which is. Which is ridic ridiculous anyways. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what I mean. But it's it's never never that. You're, yeah. you're taking stuff off. And it's always changed. Every company I ever did, was with that did commission, and it's to this day, it always changes because there'll be the one guy who figures out how to break the system. <laughs> he penetrates to, the bureaucracy. He penetrates the bureaucracy. <laughs> and then they got to switch. Oh, no, we've got to add that. we got to take that away now. we got to do that. And so you're constantly changing it. And when you mess with the guy's pays, the guy's pay, that's distrust. Yeah. And they don't believe you. So no matter mm -hmm. what you push or how great it is and what we love you and how many free meals you give them and all, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You mess with their pay. Right. Where peace rate is just right there in your face. You get what you want as a business, mm -hmm. which is you want that efficiency. You want to know that you're only paying X amount for the job. Mm -hmm. So you can control, you know, control your costs and those kinds of things. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, not to mention the added benefit of actually, this is the only way that you can actually create more time in the day. Mm -hmm. Again, we're back to what the auto industry discovered. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's why they created it. Mm -hmm. All right. They wound up making more money. Because they created, were able to create more time. They didn't make more money because they had more stalls. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. More. They just they, they were able to create more time. Mm -hmm. All right. That's the beauty of this. And the audit industry, their their bay or their stall is equivalent to your truck. Truck. Exactly. Thank you. Mm -hmm. If we didn't, weren't able to pick up on that mm -hmm. that connection there. But that's what, all right. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> hey, I got something for you to pick up here. Check it out. Are you making the money you could be making with your home service business? Or is there money slipping through the cracks? My free calculator is here to show you what your business could truly be earning. Simply answer a few simple questions and instantly you'll see a tailored result based on decades of industry data and hundreds of home service businesses just like yours. Check it out now. It's straightforward, entirely free, and an essential step for any home service business looking to boost earnings without the guesswork. Go to milliondollarpro.com forward slash calculator and discover what your business could be, though should be making today. All right, there you go. Okay, grab it. All right, grab it. All right, hey, so we're talking peace rate. We are talking peace rate, but we're also talking about reviews, and we're talking about likes, and we're talking about follows, all those oh, things. Oh, I didn't realize we were talking about that. We were talking about those. Okay. Well, we always got to talk about those things. So if you're watching us out on YouTube, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, give us a follow, get notified when we drop a new episode, because you don't ever want to miss one, right? Ever, ever. Never, so never, never. If you're listening to on your favorite podcast player, give us a review. Um, you know how reviews work. It's very important to our business as well. So give us a, a lovely review. Would appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, yes, we're talking peace rate. We are talking okay, peace rate. Okay, so now. we talk about, you know, mm -hmm. peace rate, it systemizes, okay, your mm -hmm. expectations. Mm -hmm. All right, put you on the same page, you and your tech on the same page, mm -hmm. reduces all the lollygag, <laughs> lollygagging. You know, that's lollygag. what my dad always says. I know. Stop the lollygagging. <laughs> okay. It's simple to manage, payroll, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. All right. Mm -hmm. And then finally, number three, rewards efficiency. Mm -hmm. We've been well, talking we about been that. Talking about all right, we've been talking mm -hmm. all around that, okay? Mm -hmm. The bottom line, the plumbers give themselves, you know, a raise. Mm -hmm. Okay, your techs give themselves a raise. They don't have to come hat in hand. May I have a raise, please? <laughs> Will you pay me more money? Or come to you demand, I'm the best guy you got here. You need to pay me more. No, they give it. They give themselves a, they give themselves a raise. Yep. All right? Mm -hmm. Also, you can, you know, hey, you want to make more money? All right, be better. Be more efficient. Be more efficient. Mm -hmm. Stop, stop your lollygagging. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously when we talked about mm -hmm. too, you're, you give them an assigned hourly rate, right? right? That's their hourly, their assigned hour, hourly rate. You can raise, you can raise their pay that way. If you, if they are someone who is being really efficient and is working with your system and is, is a valuable member of your team. Yeah, definitely, you know, increase their, their hourly rate as well. Um, and then they'll, so if you give them a, I don't know, $5 an hour raise to them, that's more like a $10 an hour raise because they know they can double their time on most of those tasks. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And you, and, and out of fairness, you, you have to set it up. Like we, mm -hmm. like in the Academy, we work with you to, you know, to set up your, your piece rate pay. Mm -hmm. And we say, look, as guys, as you, as the, in, in my case, as the master plumber owner, mm -hmm. I'm pretty, pretty daggone good mm -hmm. at turning a wrench. If you must say so. Yourself. If I must say so. Even today, I haven't turned a wrench for how many <laughs> years? I'm still the best <laughs> in my mind, but it's, it's, um, you know, I was pretty good. So these jobs, I could do these jobs. You know, I do a water heater an hour, mm -hmm. you know, with my eyes closed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but you don't want to base your times on, on you. Right. Okay. And there's national studies and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. And it doesn't, but it doesn't matter. First of all, it doesn't matter because you're charging mm -hmm. for it. Okay. 
um, for this time. But you want to make it every job possible for the average tech to beat. Yes. The average tech. That means mm-hmm. the, the good ones mm-hmm. are going to kill it, mm-hmm. which, which you have no, have no problem. I mean, I had, you know. Because you're charging for it in, in your in your task. Right. I mean, I, ha- I had accountants or whatever, you know, the business, you know, saying, well, you know, it's, you're paying your techs. They're making more what the national average is. Mm-hmm. I don't care. I didn't care. It was a larger percentage on my, my P&L, mm-hmm. we, we, you know, that kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't care because I had the best guy. I had guys. That's how I could keep my guys and track my guys. And I was making the money off it. They were selling the time. Right. So I didn't look at it like I even had our apprentice. I had master, uh, master plumbers who say, mm-hmm. it's unfair. The apprentice is making, shouldn't be making that kind of money. I, I'm going to pay them what they're, mm-hmm. I'm paying what they're, they're making me that kind of money. They're making the company that kind of money. They're, they're efficient. The All right. I don't care. This, you know, they're, they may not have as much time in as you and have master by their name yet. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because they don't have the time in, the hours in. All right. But they're getting the job done. The customers love them. All mm-hmm. right. Getting good reviews. All right. And they're efficient. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I have no problem. I want to pay them. Mm-hmm. I'll pay them six figures. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. I have no problem with that. You know, that's the beauty of it. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, and again, mm-hmm. finally with it, what it ultimately means for your business it creates extra time. It's the only mm-hmm. way, you know, there's only, you know, eight hours in the working day, right? Okay. Well, this is how you get all, you know, or, you know so now we're compelled to work after hours and all this, you know, we talk about that. In fact, in the academy, we preach not no. working after hours. You don't want to work after hours, no. holidays, weekends, you know, make buku money. Okay. This is how. Stop the madness. Th- this is how. You don't have to work 24 seven. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, which leads to what we call the freedom lifestyle, all that. That's a whole other conversation. All right. A great way to live. All right. Mm-hmm. But it's, it creates the extra hours. Again, this comes from a multi-gazillion dollar industry that figured out mm-hmm. how do we make even more money? Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. And this is how you do it. Mm-hmm. Paying your technicians peace rate. Peace rate to incentivize them right. um, to be efficient, serve their customer well, um, and then do the best, best for the company. There we go. Mm-hmm. Win, win, winning. <laughs> okay. Yep. We like to say, hey, mm-hmm. I'm going to give a bonus uh, coaching point here. Okay. Because one of the things, you know, if you're, if you're paying, you're paying hourly. Okay. And this is a lot of times we see coming from the hourly and even, even the commission, you know, the guys, um, what they're used to, they're, they're going to drag their feet. They're not going to, they're not, they, the guys don't like change. Don't like change. Okay? They just don't like change. Mm-hmm. So in transitioning your shop, you may bring a new guy in and pay him piece rate. Or pay one of your guys who you know is on board, who kind of will work, you know, will move with you and do that kind of thing. Pay mm-hmm. one of your guys piece rate. Because mm-hmm. what happens is, you know, you tell your guys, the guys talk. All the guys talk. Mm-hmm. And so what will happen, and we've seen this time and time and time again, hundreds of times. Okay, the one guy all of a sudden starts making big money. And the guys are noticing he's off at 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock or whatever. And mm-hmm. how, are you making, how are you making that kind of money? You know, how'd you get six, you know, 16 hours le- yesterday mm-hmm. on piece rate, you know, I want to know. I, and, and, you, and you were rate. home, you were home by five 30. Mm-hmm. How'd you do piece rate? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> then they become a believer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. So there's a little coaching tip for you. If you're looking to transition, mm-hmm. all right, you don't have to transition your whole shop. Now we have guys that will do it and we've done it and we've seen success with that. But if, you know, those are guys that have been in the success Academy and are believers, We've earned your trust because everything's worked, okay? And so, okay, I'll do this too, all right? <laughs> By the way, those are the guys with that kind of attitude that we see become multi-gazillionaires Gazillion? in a couple years, <laughs> right? Well, just like our one client who just yeah, sold at three years, right? Mm-hmm. Multi-eight figures, mm-hmm. okay? He's one at well, peace. Okay, I'm, I'm doing I'm in, mm-hmm. okay? But if you're looking to, you know, just I'm, I'm still, still a little nervous from, from this conversation, just have one guy. Just mm-hmm. pay one guy, okay? Mm-hmm. That way. The guys will talk. Because he'll do great, mm-hmm. all right? And the other guy, well, how can I get more hours without working less, mm-hmm. you know, with working <laughs> less, okay? Peace rate, mm-hmm. okay? <laughs> Sells itself, so there we go. Okay. All right? Okay, that's it. Okay, hey, if you want to talk more about, the, you know, about this, okay, about how you can find out more about this or just, you know, how can, you know, you're starting out with your home service business or taking it to the next level, okay? Of course, you know, you can go check out the Success Academy. It's all about that. But if you'd like to have a conversation first, you just need to earn, you know, just – just want to figure things out a little bit more. Let's have a conversation. That's free as well. You can speak with uh, MDP Success Coach. Mm-hmm. All right. And then we do just that. We have a, just a simple conversation. We just want to find out about you, yep. your business, where things are at. We will uncover, you know, one thing at least that's, that's holding you back from achieving, you know, the success that you desire. 
okay? Mm -hmm. Whatever issue you're dealing with, and then we'll point you in the right direction, all right? Maybe Success Academy, if that if that's right for you, or maybe just, hey, why don't you clean this up, or, you know, why don't you, yeah, continue doing what you're doing, but just keep doing it, okay? Mm -hmm. Whatever that is, we'll just, it's just a simple conversation, all right? To schedule your, your, your conversation, go to milliondollarpro.com forward slash call. C-A-L-L. All right. Okay. All right. We'll have a conversation. So there we go. Good okay. one. Peace rate. Do it. Implement it. All right. It's win-win-winning. Okay. Hey, that was a good one. That was good. All right. Hey, before we let you go, as always, I want to remind you that you were purposely and wonderfully created. And you were created to do great things. To serve like a champion. Bye, everybody.